Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and welcome back to another episode of Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today I'll be reviewing a fragrance from Parfum de Mali called Nisian. Parfum de Mali launched the Arabian Breed Collection in 2013. It included Habdan, Hamdani, Kuhuyan, and Ujan. In 2016, they added the fifth one, which was called Nisian. Here's the box that it comes in, a black glossy box. On the back, it says, Parfums de Mali, the elegant and refined fragrance company, renews the splendor of the 18th century through its original concept when the greatest perfumes were created for King Louis XV in tribute to the prestigious horse races he fervently admired and instituted. My bottle's up here. Let's have the spray. The notes for Nisian are saffron, labdanum, floral accord, patchouli, leather, woody notes, kayak wood, sandalwood, and akigala wood, which is a molecule which has patchouli and oud tones. Nisian is classified as a unisex fragrance, but for me this leans really masculine, if not completely masculine. It's definitely patchouli heavy, and if you're not a patchouli fan, then this might not be for you, but I think that they handle the patchouli in this in a nice way, meaning that it's not dirty or hippie smelling, or old man smelling. It's strong and persistent, but it's not overpowering. There's an incense a little bit in the beginning, a little bit of spice from saffron, and it's mostly dry. The woods are there, and I get a little teensy bit of an oud, but nothing medicinal or animalic. It's really a dry, woody, masculine fragrance to me. I get just a little hint of leather, not much, it's not predominant at all. It's all about patchouli in Nisian. And I definitely don't get the floral accord that they mention, at least not on my skin. Nisian is definitely in line with the rest of the Arabian breed collection in that the perfume is dense and the ingredients are quality. Nisian has very nice projection, but it's not overpowering. I think you can pretty much wear it in any season, but of course you'll have to adjust your application. Longevity on my skin was eight to 10 hours easy. You guys know how I like to do my after lunch respritz. Definitely not either with this one, no way. If you're a fan of freshies, then this is probably not for you. But if you're a guy or a girl who likes bold, masculine statement fragrances, then you'll definitely dig Nisian. If you'd like to pick it up, it runs 320 for a 125 ml bottle. If you're on the East Coast, you can pick it up at Oswald. And if you're on the West Coast, you can pick it up at Beverly Hills Perfumery or Lucky Scent. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today on Parfums de Marley and Nisian, short and sweet like I always do. If you'd like to try it, I would like to offer a 10 mil decant to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite Parfums de Marley fragrance is. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all are well, and I'll see you at the next review. Wait, hold it. Don't go yet. Guys, do you like this set better or the other one where you see my apartment in the background? Let me know, okay? All right, take it easy. Peace. Nisian was added in 2016 and was the It's a patchouli laden fragrance and if you're not into patchouli It's in line with the rest of the Arabian Arabian breed collection if you're a friend <laughs> You're a friend. Today I'll be reviewing a fragrance from Parfums de Mali called Habdan No, not Habdan Today I'll be reviewing a fragrance from Parfums de Mali called Nimia. Wait, hold it. Do you guys like this set better or the other set where you see my apartment in the background? Let me know, okay? 
All right, take care. See you later. Oh.